this video, I'm going to show you how you can play all the Brady Girls by a wonderful band called Collio. <laughs> So let's go and learn all the pretty girls by dividing into five parts which are intro, verse, chorus, bridge and the solo part. The whole song is having your capo on your first fret which means your fret number starts from this fret 1, 2, 3, 4, 5. Intro of the song on these two chords A minor and C major and while you're playing these chords you actually playing this box which is you know if you start from this point 1 2 3 the box starts like 3 and 5 on B and 3 and 5 on E so when first you're playing the A minor and halfway you come to this box and the first note you play is a slide from 3 to 5 and after playing this slide you go for your E string and play the third note And you play this third note twice. Right after plucking this note, you're gonna pull off slide from 3 to 1 on your B string. So the complete. Real slow. And right after that you go for your C major and you again play the C major and come back for the same notes. But when you finish that you go for your A minor. And again the A minor halfway, same notes and you go for your C major. And also while you're playing the C major, you don't play the whole C major, you start like this. You have this you have this hammer on on your D string so let's check it out from the start and right after that you go for your verse which is uh, all the pretty girls like Samuel and the, the whole verse is on A minor, G major and C major. All the pretty girls like Samuel, one beat on A minor, one beat on G major and two beats on your C major. the words on these chords but on the fourth time when it says life is anything but fair it does not go on a C it goes on the F major means so it's like all the pretty girls like Samuel oh it really doesn't share and after though it's more than he can handle life is anything but fair major and he go like after that the same pattern then come the second verse on the same chords A minor D C A minor D C A minor D C a minor D F and then comes the chorus which is won't you lay me won't you lay me down which is on A minor won't you lay me won't you lay me down A minor G major and C major but the, for the second line for the won't you lay me down he goes for F first and then comes on a C it's like won't you lay me won't you lay me down won't you lay me won't you lay 
then jumps to C major. And the last line, won't you lay me, it goes to the A minor, then G, and won't you, and G seventh, me down, ends on A minor. Then comes the bridge part, which is a very nice part. It starts with all alone, all alone, again, goes for G seventh, no one lends a help in and you come back for A minor and then you go for C major and F major and again C major. All alone, all alone again. No one lends a helping hand. I have waited. I have waited. D minor, G seventh, then A minor. C major and F major and then C major again. Again D minor takes a toll on foolish pride. How long before I see the light? I have waited. F major, I have waited for you, D minor, to lay me down. G7. So this one is the bridge part. Let's go for the solo part. Most of the solos by the band are very few notes, but very well within the soul of the song, like this one. The whole solo on this, you know, this box, three, five on B, three, five on E. So it goes like slide from three to five, and then play the th third note on the E string, and again slide. So, and it goes like from slide from 3 to 5 and after that you go for third note on E string and again slide on the B string from 3 to 5 and again for the third note on the E a real slow. Two times slide, three to five on B, third note on E, then again slide from three to five, and third note on E. And after that, he comes for the fifth note. Play it one time and then slide to the 5 to 3. So from the start. And the one note on the first fret. I'm telling according to this capo on the first fret actually. So this is your first fret now. So from the start very slow. This is the first part of your solo and the second part, same. Slide from 3 to 5, the third note on the E, then again slide from, from the 3 to 5. And then you don't go for this third note, you can go for the fifth note on your E string. Then you go for a third note on the E string from the start. Real slow. And the last part is same. Slide from five to three. And you play this last note. So the, so the, so the complete, the second part. Complete solo, real slow.
Thanks for your time and the support for my channel, Guitar Broadcast. Please continue to support by watching and subscribing. And I'll be very happy if I can be a tiny help in your guitar learning journey.